Hi everyone, it's Melanie Reese, your CHI Financial Stability Advisor, and today I would like to share an activity um, with you guys that really works on helping us to calm down. And you know, we can all use that right now. We've all been quarantined for quite some time. We've been in really close quarters with a lot of the people that we really care about, but that doesn't mean that they don't stress us out, right? So we are going to learn how to make a pinwheel um, that's really gonna help us with regulating our breathing and getting back into a calm space. Um, most of you who have worked with me one-on-one -on -one do know that I used to be an elementary school teacher. I worked with kindergartners, and um, this is something that we used in my classroom that was really helpful to get our little guys used to taking those really good, deep belly breaths that are good for us. They're good for calming us. Um, they bring lots of good energy in. We get to breathe out a lot of that stressful energy. So I really hope that um, you enjoy this activity as well. Um, I find it helpful. It's good for kids. It's good for adults. We all need this. Um, I was able to make it with some things that I have at home. I'm going to show you what we need. Um, you'll definitely need some paper. I found some cardstock that I had here at home, but you can use uh, construction paper. You can even use note cards. You do want it to be a little bit of a heavier paper than just regular notebook paper. Um, and you're going to want it in a square. So you can decide how big you want it. Um, my recommendation is a four inch square or a five inch square. I have decided to do five inches on each side. I really like that size. Um, and so you'll Cut that into a five inch square or a four inch square and then put that aside. Um, you'll need a ruler so that you can measure that, a pencil because that'll help you um, mark it. Um, you can get a straw as well. It can be any size straw, any color straw. You'll need some tape um, and you will need some kind of pin. I found a straight pin um, that I got in this travel um, sewing kit. And so that was really helpful. Um, you do want it to be a straight pin, something that you can push through the paper and the straw. Also, if you have an artificial flower, it doesn't matter what color or what size, you can use a fresh flower as well. It just won't last as long. Um, and then something to give this a little bit of a nice scent. Um, so you can use some essential oils if you have any. Lavender is really good to use to help regulate and um, promote calmness. Um, or if you don't have any, that's okay. Find something that smells good in your house. I have this old bottle of perfume um, that um, I'm going to use today when I show this to you. So when you have your square, let's get started. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut in to about one inch or half an inch rather to the center. So you can measure that out if you'd like, or you can just eyeball it and go ahead and go from the corner into the center, stop about a half inch in. You're gonna do that on all four sides. And when you are done, your paper is gonna look like this. So it will have these slits in there, and then you're gonna take each corner, or actually one corner, from each one of these and fold it to the center. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Um, if you've got little ones that are trying to do this, they may need some help, because you do want to hold all of those points right in the middle. So it'll look something like this. So once you have that, you're going to take your pin and you're going to push it through. You do want to make sure that it goes through all four. And then you're going to push it through your straw. So it'll go through the paper, through the straw. You may have some extra on the other side and you want to bend that over. So you definitely want to help your kiddos with that part. Um, just for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and go with this one that I've already created. I went ahead and I pushed my pin through. I'm going to show you and turn this around. My pin was a little bit long. I had to bend it over. Um, so at that point, you do want to take some tape to cover that because we want to make sure that nobody um, has an accident and gets poked by it. 
And so this is your pinwheel. What you're gonna do is make sure that it has enough of a give that it can spin around. Um, so you'll want to give it just a little bit of a test. There we go. Um, the other part of that is now taking your flower. You can take this artificial flower and attach it to the straw. I already had a piece of tape ready and cut. So I am going to wrap it around and attach the flower to the bottom of the straw and bring it around. There we go. Now, this is where we get to the part where we're going to practice taking our really deep breaths. So you're going to take whatever it is that you have. And if you don't have anything, we can always just imagine, right? So if you have your essential oils or if you have your perfume, you want to go ahead and give it a spritz. Put that aside. And then this is how we work on taking those really deep cleansing belly breaths. So you or your child, you can show them definitely, like I said, it's good for both kids and adults. Um, and you can model this for them. You want to take that really deep breath. So you're going to smell the flower. You're going to hold it. And then you're going to exhale and let it all out. And so you can do that a few times, right? To help with that regulation to help kind of come down from high emotions um, and come to a much calmer place. You can do that as many times as you need. You can make it a competition, see how long somebody can make the pinwheel spin. Um, and hopefully this will be a good activity for you guys. Um, again, I'm gonna show you, take the deep breath and exhale. Have fun. I hope you like this. Again, we're thinking about you guys. We are um, really just sending out well wishes to everybody. We hope everybody is safe and taking care. Um, reach out to us if you have any questions or any needs. We are happy to be here to help you out. Uh, thanks again and have a great day. Bye.